Hello, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lower third graphic um, for a title for a person. Uh, so, what we're going to first do is this is actually this is in motion, um, which is a Final Cut um, program made by Apple. So, let's start here. Uh, go to the library and we're going to pull the liquid transfer over. Um, it's under particle emitters and you can just search for it down under there. Let's take that, let's play it and it looks pretty good. Okay, So then we'll take a square up here and we'll just make a box uh, right here Move that so it covers the whole, both sides. All right, leave a little space in the bottom. That's fine. Um, and then we're going to color that box a light blue, and leave the opacity at full. You don't want to when you're doing a um, when you're doing a lower third. If you drop the opacity and there's a lot of moving stuff behind it, it gets really hard to read the text on top of it. So your base should always be full opacity. Okay. Um, over here, if you go to the project pane, uh, this little guy here, will show you all of our elements. Um, and we want this rectangle that we just put in, this thing here. We want to drop that down below. Okay. And we're going to do is get this liquid transfer, bring that over to the right a little bit. Uh, let's zoom out here. Click on the middle pane here in Apple minus. I'll zoom out a little bit for you. All right. Uh, let's just play that through a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, definitely some timing things we need to change. So go to the timing pane here, and we're gonna have to zoom out one more time. For that. Okay. So a rectangle. That's our first thing we want in the shot, so we're going to bring it uh, to the very beginning and then we're going to drag it out to the very end. And you know what? We're going to do that with the liquid transfer as well. Okay, and the blur also because it's part of the liquid transfer. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to throw a little text on here. Um, so go up here and hit the T, or if um, if you want, you can just hit the letter T on the keyboard, and then you click and drag a box over here, and our person will be Steve the Alien. And the font that is chosen here is Blair... Middle T C T T. I have no idea what all that stuff means, but that's the uh, the font that I'm using, and it's kind of like a alienish looking font, so it works pretty well. Um, this is the HUD. You can turn it on and off by clicking this right here. Uh, it's pretty helpful because when you're doing text or anything like that, you can change the size of the text or the tracking if you have multiple lines or if you want it centered or left justified or you know whatever. Um, also color, we're going to leave ours white, um, white is kind of good for what we're doing today. Um, and the opacity will be all the same, so that's that's fine. Um, we're going to do a second box here too. Um, so let's do that. Come over here and do area 51 and then size that up like so. Um, then you come over to the arrow over here. Click on that, and then you can move it around a little bit. So like that, and we bring it up a little. Okay, and actually this could be a little bit bigger. Um, let's go back to T and size that up just a bit. That's pretty good. And then move it out over here. Uh, another cool thing in um, in motion is under view here you have film safe zones and you have safe zones. Um, 
Film safe zones, actually, you know, I'm not even going to go into those. Um, but the regular safe zones, these are what you're going to see on TV. And so you want to be, you want to be within the, the inner box, okay? So we'll take this and we'll actually put it right over here. And there's a lot of snapping in, um, as you can see, like the yellow lines and whatnot. Those are all snapping. So it's pretty easy to line things up um, to other, other areas and whatnot in your project. Okay, so let's go to these text areas and come over here into the inspector. This is where you can edit all the stuff in your text. Um, go to style and click on drop shadow. That'll just make it pop out a lot more. Um, and so we'll click on Steve here and do the same thing with him. Boom. Okay. Now, um, if there's ever like, like for instance, let's say you lost Steve. You're like, where's where's it going? Well, why can't I see it? I just I have it here, but I can't see it here. Um, it's probably because everything here is layer based, and so the text should always be on top. So make sure that you keep your text um, to the top, and like everything on the top is going to be shown first, and everything below it is going to be overlaid. So you know, make sure you keep everything in line like that when you're doing your project. Okay, um, I wanted that a little bit more actually. Okay. So, this one goes so far. Yep. See, down here. These two guys uh, need to be brought over here more. And actually, I like to bring the name of the person in first and not where they are or where they're from until afterwards. So, you get a sense of who it is and then you get a sense of where they are. Okay, um, so yeah, let's watch that real quick. Oops. Okay, um, let's go and let's click on the group here. The group here will select everything under it, which is everything in our project. So we can just select in the group and then go over to add behavior over here, the little gear, go down to basic motion and fade in, fade out. And when you have everything here selected, it'll do that to everything in your project. But it didn't do it the way I quite wanted it to. It just does the end, the in and out. So if we want these texts to not pop in but to fade in, those are going to have to be selected separately and then also done the same way. And you see the purple bars went on underneath them. So now, let me do it. I come in and they'll fade in instead of popping in like they did last time. And then they'll all fade out together at the end. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little touch up here and bring this down a little bit, bring that up a little bit. Okay. So there you have it. That's your lower third. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial and I uh, look forward to doing more in the future. All right.